When faced with authoritarian evil, every act of defiance takes tremendous courage. Alfred Wiener was a German Jew who won an Iron Cross in the First World War. On his return to civilian life, he was horrified by the rising anti-Semitism he found. Jews were being blamed for Germany's defeat. As early as 1925, the year in which Hitler published Mein Kampf, Wiener recognised that the Nazis were a terrible threat to the Jews. He wrote, he lobbied, he spoke out against them. He and several friends travelled the length and breadth of Germany, taking photographs, interviewing people and collecting material that the Nazis used to promote their ideals. He amassed a vast archive of documents, posters, press cuttings, photographs, even children's propaganda books and board games. In 1939, his archive was rescued and brought to London. It opened its doors to the public on the 9th of September that year. Wiener continued to document the persecution of the Jewish population in Europe throughout the Second World War. The archive is still in London today. The vast material which Wiener collected is used by scholars to research the Holocaust and by the public to explore their family stories and learn more about Nazi Germany. The archive continues to grow. It now also collects material from genocides that have occurred since the Holocaust, including Rwanda and Darfur. The Wiener Library is a unique memorial to those who were killed in the Holocaust. It is a testament to the foresight of a remarkable man, Alfred Wiener, who understood that in order to combat evil, we must first recognise it. The Wiener Library welcomes visitors from around the world and anyone who seeks to understand how evil can flourish and wants to reflect on the relevance for our world today.